Ladies and gentlemen, 2020 just got that much worse. You cannot write the poetic stupidity Netflix has just doubled down on their bad decision making and have united the unholy forces of media creation. Netflix has collectively united three brain cells together that have no business writing anything in an attempt to make their platform more relevant. And oh boy, did they just completely screw the pooch. <laughs> you can't write this shit. Anyway, here goes. From the Los Angeles Times, the team behind Game of Thrones lines up first Netflix TV project. Rest in peace, Netflix, when the time comes. Dumb and Dumber, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, are leaving Westeros for outer space. Announced Tuesday, the Game of Thrones showrunners have lined up their first TV project since the HBO fantasy series concluded its run last year. As part of their $300 million deal with Netflix, again... The stupidity of Netflix is truly profound. And not to mention the fact that Dumb and Dumber were let go from Star Wars because of their botched Q&A at the Austin Film Festival. But yeah, they landed ass backwards into a $300 million deal with the stupidity of the Netflix executive team. Well done, lads. Well done. Can't wait to see how it plays out for all of you. Netflix and Dumb and Dumber. It says a Dumb and Dumber will partner with Alexander Wu, the terror infamy, which I guess is his credential, I've never heard of that, to write and produce a series inspired by the three-body problem trilogy of novels by Chinese author Liu Sixon. <sighs> so once again, Dumb and Dumber are looking to adapt source material to profit off of. And once again, the mainstream media are going to try and tout them as geniuses for it if it turns out to be good. Because we all know what happens when they adapt shit. And when they actually have to earn a paycheck. Granted, they fucked the pilot episode of Game of Thrones despite having read the novel several times, allegedly. Having a treasure trove of source material to work with. HBO gave them $10 million. They screwed the pilot. And then HBO, which have since learned their lesson by cancelling one of the Game of Thrones prequels, said, You know what? You fucked it up once. Here's another $10 million, make another pilot for us. And then we found out what happens when they run out of source material. Though the book readers will tell you the decline of Game of Thrones started well before that happened. Anyway, the first book in the Hugo Award winning series, which is enormously popular in China, opens during the Cultural Revolution as an imprisoned student uses a covert military operation to make contact with an alien race and encourage them to invade Earth. Like Game of Thrones, adapted from George R. R. Martin's series of epic novels, the three-body problem creates a meticulously detailed alternate universe and is ambitious in scope. In other words, the series is primed to be fucked in the ass by these two dimwits. Lou Sixon's trilogy is the most ambitious science fiction series we've read, taking readers on a journey from the 1960s until the end of time. From life on our pale blue dot to the distant fringes of the universe, we look forward to spending the next years of our lives bringing this to life for audiences around the world, said Dumb and Dumber in a statement on Tuesday. <laughs> so, you're looking forward to spending several of the next years of your life to make this sci-fi series instead of adequately making a well-deserved, flushed-out conclusion to the series that made you your millions in the first place, which was a global phenomenon, mind you, which started with the books of George R. R. Martin and grew into the pop culture fandom that once existed for Game of Thrones that encapsulated millions across the world. You gave them the middle finger, including myself, to run off and do this science fiction nonsense from this reputable Chinese author, which whew, my heart bleeds for him, man. I mean, I hope he gets a good money deal out of this, but his source material is not in good hands. The poor man. Rights holders, the Three Body Universe, and Yuzu Group granted the rights to an English language adaptation to Netflix. Sixon and Ken Liu, who translated two of the novels in the trilogy, will serve as consulting producers. Well, well, I hope they have a sufficient amount of creative input and can hinder these two idiots when the time comes, because no doubt they're going to have a rocky road. It is a privilege to be adapting one of the great masterpieces of Chinese fiction, Wu said in a statement on Tuesday. The Three Body Problem trilogy combines so many things I love. Rich, multi-layered characters and true existential stakes, all told as an elegant and deeply human allegory. 
I am thrilled to kick off my partnership with Netflix with this accomplished creative team. <laughs> oh, geez. And we're about to get to the kicker of the article because it gets just so much worse than this. This is where the article takes a nosedive and when my jaw sank straight to the floor. The team of executive producers on the soon-to-be-adapted three-body problem Netflix series also includes Ryan fucking Johnson... Director of Knives Out and Star Wars The Last Jedi. <laughs> you serious? Gold bloody star. Whoever the hell put this team of dim-witted dumb fucks together. The trifecta of stupidity. The triangle of creative terror. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. Because you've just created the perfect fucking storm. (laughs) Oh, man. When Robot Head made his video on Game of Thrones, you know, I dreaded the possibility that this might happen. To David and DB, I salute you. You now stand proudly next to Ryan Johnson. I don't know out of the two of you who's fucked off more people. Fucking assholes. But now we know... (laughs) It's no longer a possibility. It's no longer a fan fiction of horrifying what ifs in our head. Dumb and Dumber teaming up with Ruin Johnson is no longer a possibility. It is now, according to this article, an inevitability. <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster. Oh boy. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't write it, guys. That that's the kicker. That is confirmed that Ryan Johnson creator of the most maligned Star Wars movie in existence, will be working with the head writers and creators and showrunners of season 8 of Game of Thrones, which nobody defends. Let that sink in while I finish this article. Also joining the team is Bernadette Caulfield, who worked closely with Benioff and Weiss on Game of Thrones. Well, that's not encouraging either. She obviously didn't have very much creative input if she's supposed to have more brain cells than the collective two those guys share together. The news was announced in a blog post by Peter Friedlander, vice president of the original series at Netflix. So this is the guy who apparently put all this together. Great, great freaking job, mate. You nailed it. No one's going to be questioning your creative decisions at Netflix in the years to come after this mess lands. He goes on to say David Benioff, D.B. Weiss, and Alexander Wu have experience tackling Ambitious sagas over time and space, Ryan Johnson and Ram Bergman have long dazzled fans with thrilling and mind-bending epics. <laughs> he's, he's got it all wrong. He's got it. I mean, granted, I haven't seen Knives Out. I had part of it spoiled for me, so I just haven't bothered. Um, but hold damn. He has not seen what Ryan Johnson does. I don't know if Knives Out was a based off a book, but... You know, he has not seen, he has not paid close attention to what Ryan Johnson does when he's adapting material that does not belong to him. And I always fucking hated Looper. I thought the ending was so insulting. Couldn't care less. He's an overrated hack in my books. Never heard of Ram Bergman. Can't be worse than Ryan Johnson. And yeah, those three sentences in this man's statement, who's supposedly the vice president of Netflix original series, does not inspire confidence. They are all fierce advocates of the three-body problem. Well, I mean, you know, I I don't think they have poor taste. I mean, Ryan Johnson did want to make a Star Wars film. He didn't make one. He made a Ryan Johnson abortion out of the Star Wars material. But he wanted to make a Star Wars film. He has good taste. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss wanted to adapt Song of Ice and Fire. So they had good taste. They just don't have very good creative ability. As Arden fans, it was especially meaningful to us to get the support of Lou Sixon who created this expansive universe. We all share the same goal to pay homage to this incredible story and take members on the adventure of a lifetime. Well, have you educated Lou Sixon, who created this expansive universe that you're trying to profit off of, on the creative brilliance, epic sarcasm, of Dumb and Dumber and Ryan Johnson and what they've created in the past and what they've done to adaptations? Because I don't think he'd sign it over to you guys if he knew... In great, vivid detail, who you fucking picked for the job. My heart bleeds for this author whose work is most likely, if not inevitably, going to be run straight into the ground. I have no idea what Netflix are thinking. I have no idea how this man can be okay with this. He must be uneducated on who these people are. And if, or I should probably say when, this 
product turns into a dumpster fire. Uh, again, my heart goes out to the author. I hope he gets a good money deal out of it, but <laughs> the product ain't gonna be good. Since I know whose names are attached to this, I'm going to take a bit of an interest, not because I'm excited for the product, but because I want to just hold my breath and just gawk laughing at what plays out on screen because, oh boy. Anyway, look, if you're a reader of the three body problem, let me know what you guys think of this down below. Uh, so we have confirmation of what's going to happen with Dumb and Dumber and Ryan Johnson's careers going forward. Uh, Ryan Johnson is an executive producer on this for some reason, and Dumb and Dumber will no doubt be writing with Alexander Wu, who I've never heard of. Maybe if he's got some intelligence, maybe he can keep them in check, but who knows at this point. But that's what we have to, I guess, look forward to, quote-unquote. Uh, not very optimistic. Just, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, but that's what's happening. Uh, when, when this article was brought to my attention, I was blown away that, like, we, I, I kind of theorized, like, what, what kind of dumpster fire would come out of the collective works of Dumb and Dumber and Ryan Johnson? I never thought that those fan fictions I had in my head, I would actually get to see play out in reality. So, this is going to be interesting going forward. Uh, Netflix is, has bought and paid and assigned the trifecta of stupidity to this next original series that they are going to adapt from this poor man's written works. It's a Hugo Award winning sci-fi novel series. And apparently, according to everyone involved, it's a very good one. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I might read up about it, see what it is. If I like the premise, then uh, maybe I'll give it a look. Who knows? But um, I will be watching regardless. And it has nothing to do with the renowned creative brilliance of these people. It's to do with the renowned incompetence of them. So I don't want anyone twisting this into a thing like, Oh, see? He's still going to watch because he loves uh, Dumb and Dumber and Ryan Johnson. No. 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 Um, I don't want to support anything they do. And I will watch, but that's just me. I don't encourage anyone else to watch. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how bad it's going to be. Never thought I'd say... I, I'm not usually one of those people who looks for bad things to laugh at, but this is an exception because I hate all of these creative... Well, most of these creative people assigned to this project with a huge passion. And with that, I can't wait to see what dumpster fire they churn out. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little rant of mine. And I hope you guys were sitting down when I delivered this news. It's happening. Dumb and Dumb are teaming with Ryan Johnson to bring us something. So, oh boy. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for staying to the end of the video. You are a legend, and I'll see you next time.